హలో ఎవరి వన్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ సో టుడే లెట్స్ మేక్ అ వెరీ ఈజీ క్విక్ జర్నల్ సో దిస్ ఇస్ ది బిగినర్స్ జర్నల్ ద సైజ్ ఇస్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ లైక్ అ లిటిల్ నోట్ బుక్ సో లెట్ ఎస్ సీ వాట్ ఆర్ ఇంక్లూడెడ్ ఇన్ ది కెట్ సో దిస్ ఇస్ ది మెయిన్ కవర్ and i have printed just the main cover on a, a 160 gsm paper and the rest of it is just normal printer copy paper and i have included the pages inside the the journal pages in different sizes so that it gives that you know the rustic shabby uh, kind of a junk journal feel that's why i have included different sizes so here i have just folded all the pages and i'm arranging them in an order that i like so you can either sew the entire journal together because it's a very small journal with uh, quite few pages or you can bind them i'm just going to bind them in the Uh, as the process comes you will see that i am just going to bind the journal so i wanted to add some fabric and ribbons to the corners of the pages to you know may give this journal a little bit more shabby look so as you can see i've added some lace fabric uh, linen and ribbons to the corners of the pages you can also add your own pages to the journal i'm just adding some tracing paper within the lot so to continue the assembly i'm just going to fold the cover into half so that i can fit the pages inside and this is again this is an optional step i am adding an inside cover page on the journal cover i have already printed on the back using the background paper but i thought that this would give a little bit more you know interest now that i have the pages and the journal cover ready i am going to bind the journal now i am going to make a template using a uh, scrap paper so i will just use this to mark my three dots so that i can use the template to punch holes i'm just i'm not doing it perfectly i'm just going to do as close to the measurements as possible
template into half and I am making a middle mark and then roughly around one and a half inches to 1.45 inches I am just making two more dots on the top and the bottom and I'm going to use this to punch holes so I'm making three holes because the pages are in different sizes and in different heights so I want to make sure that the binding goes through all the pages in the different heights so that's why I want to make even though it's a smaller journal I wanted to make three holes uh, in the middle for binding purpose so I'm just punching the holes through the entire journal using my template and now I'm going to take some thread and needle to bind the journal so I'm passing through the middle hole and I'm going to take the needle out of the top and giving passing the needle through the top to the inside and then back to the bottom hole and again I'm just passing the needle through the middle one and now I can just make three knots to secure the pages together this is done you can leave it like this also but I wanted to add a spine so the spine is already included in the kit to cover the binding uh, thread I wanted to add this spine and to give it more texture and add some more uh, you know give it a more shabby look I wanted to add lace to the edges so i have just stitched some lace to the spine which i will now glue it together to the main journal So there you have it, that's the journal that's done. A few of the ephemeras have been included, you can use them to decorate the journal. You can use them as tabs or you can use them as pocket for this you know, small journal.
in the kit i have included these two circles so you can use this to add as a you know add an eyelet to hold the journal use a ribbon to hold the journal together but i thought that i can just use both of them together to create like you know on top of one another by reducing the first circle a little bit you can see that i've just cut the first circle a little bit smaller than the other and i'm using i'm just using that the entire thing as a embellishment so that's how it looks now so you can add a ribbon to secure the journal together that is it this is the beginners series first little journal you can keep adding pockets or tags in other pages into this journal which i will be doing in the coming videos i want to add more uh, you know pages flaps and other interesting elements to this journal and fill it up but this is just a very easy and a starter uh, junk journal for you with very little effort i hope you enjoyed this the link is in the description below and i will see you soon bye